Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna make a fish fillet with a creamy saffron sauce. So let me make you ingredients. Right, so we're gonna use uh, two types of fish. I got the flaky one. This is a fresh cut. And also I got the firm fish, the tilapia. So you can use any fish that you like. Also we're gonna need some flour, just to dust. And then for my garnish, I'm gonna use uh, baby spinach, some chile de arbol, cherry tomatoes, onion, and the zest and the juice of the lemon or lime, you can use it all. Butter, uh, two tablespoons, two ounces of uh, white wine, some garlic, fennel stems that I had for my previous video, so I did a um, fennel, and also I have some fennel stock. You can always use vegetable stock or water, some uh, garlic salt, black pepper, I'm gonna use some of the mashed potatoes, regular mashed potatoes, heavy cream, and my saffron that I brought from Mexico when I went to Mexico. So I'm gonna use this and see how it, you know, if it's, how good it is. So let's give you the next step. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna season our fish with the garlic salt and black pepper. You press it down so that way the pepper sticks to the fish. And also we're gonna flour it. Okay. Lightly dust it. And then we're gonna have a pan preheat it so that way we can uh, sear our fish. So let me cue the next step. Lo vas a hacer, vas a harinar tu pescado por los dos lados. Ya que le ponen la sal y la pimienta. Y vas a tener un sartén previamente caliente. Si ves que está muy grueso tu filete de aquí, lo puedes cortar así para que tengas un filete, para que se cocine parejo. Ok, so, ahorita regresamos para enseñarte cómo vamos a cocinar. Si this fish is a little bit thicker than this side, we're gonna cook it evenly. So, you're gonna cut from here up to here. Just lightly flour it so that way it cooks evenly. Okay, so let's uh, go this way. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna bring our stock to boil again. So, uh, one cup, and then one tablespoon of butter, some of the fennel stems, and our saffron. We're gonna see if it's gonna tint it yellow. So we're gonna bring it to boil. Also, we're gonna add some of the heavy cream <clears throat> to make our sauce. And lightly season it. So my stock already has some salt, so I don't gonna, I don't, I'm gonna adjust it later. So, let's do our fish. So I'm gonna come back and show you next step. gonna do we're gonna add some of the avocado oil in a hot pan, same here with this one. So we're gonna make, cook it separately so that way you can see the difference between each fish. So first, we're gonna do the, it's a little cold. We're gonna do the tilapia first. Okay? And then I'm gonna come back and show you all. We're gonna do, we're gonna put the skin side up. So this is your presentation side. And we're gonna sear it like this. So this is with the skin side. And then the tilapia. I don't know when to flip it over. So make sure the oil is hot so that way your fish doesn't stick to your pan. Okay. And now you can flip it over. Okay. And start it here. Okay. Ya cuando ves que está un poquito blanco aquí alrededor, no la estés moviendo, deja que se cocine solo. Lo voy a con la uh, voltea, pero mira. Así. Igual vamos a dejar que se cocine un poquito. Un poquito más tequilla. Y 
vamos a hacer lo mismo con el, con el bacalao. Igual, vamos a dejar que se cocine bien. Falta poquito y luego ya lo volteamos. So what I did, I just you know, move it to the side, and then we're gonna remove it so we can make our finish in there. But this one, same thing. Make sure that all your top so that it doesn't stick to your pan. A little more, a little. But it's very flaky. I wanna make it, you know, a little more crispy. So we're gonna butter. Same thing with the tilapia. So that way we have a nice golden brown. Okay, see, see, see it's a little golden brown over here. Now we're gonna flip it over. That's what we want. So from now, we're gonna, this one is cooks really fast. So we're gonna put it on the side. Right here, let it rest. And then we're gonna start our, our garnish. So I'm gonna use some of the fennel front. And then I'm gonna do the garlic. Okay. And I'm gonna grab my spinach and show you the next step. So we're gonna do the fennel, the garlic, the onion, the chili. We're gonna toast it a little bit. That's gonna be my gar garnish. Then salt pepper, regular salt, same thing with this one, and then our spinach. So we're gonna cook our spinach for about one minute, come back and add the cherry tomato. Okay, now we're gonna combine these two things. We got all the flavors from the fish. I can only use one pan for myself. And then we're gonna do the cherry tomatoes. And the rest of the lemon. Okay? Then we're gonna dig this. So I'm gonna also add some sesame in my sauce. And the spinach. Now, we're gonna be great. Let's finish. And then we're gonna start serving. Now, you're gonna have your wine, let it evaporate, and finish it with uh, butter. Okay. We're gonna spinach. Now. We're gonna see our sauce. So this saffron is not turning yellow as it's supposed to. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add some of that powder that I have, saffron. If you see that your uh, pistils, they're not, you know, tinting very well, you can always use the saffron powder. Okay? So that way your sauce is nice and yellow. Now we're just gonna bring it to boil and finish our sauce. What we're gonna do, we're gonna blend it so that way we can get most of the color out. So... What we're gonna do, we're gonna strain it so that way we can remove <clears throat> all the fiber from the fennel. And now you have your sauce and you're just gonna use, you know, as much as you want. So we're gonna reduce, we're, we're gonna grab about two ounces <clears throat> and reduce it completely so that it's nice and thick. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, we're gonna melt our butter and I'm gonna toast my chili a little bit. So they got soggy. So I'm gonna toast them so that way we can have the umami flavors. So I'm gonna come back and grab my ladle. I'm gonna add the cream. So about half a cup. We're gonna bring it to boil. Okay, so that way it's nice and thick. So that way we can finish our fish. 
you can always return your fish into your sauce or you know just plate it so that way you know it doesn't uh, break when you, you have it here so we're gonna plate it right now so for the presentation as always you know it's gonna be up to you however you want to plate it it's gonna be your choice so you can do a classic whoosh pages in the middle but like I said you know it's gonna be up to you however you want to play it's gonna be your decision so tilapia a little bit more in here and then I'm gonna grab my sauce and finish our plate so for uh, the sauce, you can always do, you know, the sauce on the, on, around and we're just going to put the peppers on top like this. So now you put your peppers just for garnish Hopefully you guys like this video, how to prepare the fish and also uh, comment and like, share our videos Joy. <coughs> Look at this. Beautiful Look at this over here. Smooth the mash, the sauce. Really good. <coughs> Thank you. Enjoy.